welcome to another Get Good at Business Spotlight. I'm so excited to be joined today by Priscilla Quesada. She's going to be talking to us all about how she utilizes the areas of iMove within her business. But before we get into that, hi, I am your host and business coach, Taylor Proctor, and I'm here to help you get good at business so you can get back into the heart of why you got into business in the first place. And one of the ways that we do that is through interviews like this, where we can learn from coaches, from entrepreneurs, from online business owners from across the world, how they're utilizing the areas of the iMove method in their business so we can learn and start to implement similar things in ours. And if you're wondering what in the world is the iMove method, it stands for intuition, marketing, operations, velocity, and execution. So I'm so excited that Priscilla is going to be talking to us today, and she is the founder of PAQ, which stands for Powerful Authentic Queen, a groundbreaking organization dedicated to empowering survivors of sexual assault and domestic abuse to reclaim their power after trauma. Compelled by her own personal experience, including childhood sexual abuse, navigating the complexities of New York City foster care system, and witnessing the abuse of women in her family, Priscilla felt deep, a deep calling to create a transformative platform of healing and growth. So, Powerful Authentic Queen is an organization dedicated to empowering survivors of sexual abuse and domestic violence to reclaim their power after trauma through advocacy, resources, self-love journaling workshops, speaking engagements, mentorship, and more. So Priscilla, thank you so much for joining us today and pulling back the curtain on PAQ and your business. Oh my God. Thank you so much for having me. And that was such an amazing intro. I'm like, can I hire you for like everything I do moving <laughs> forward? Like, wait a minute, he, he, please introduce me. <laughs> I'll record, I'll be your hype girl and I'll record it later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, Priscilla, I'm so excited you're here with us today. And I first want to know, obviously, we talked about your background a little bit in the bio, but do you have a defining moment or experience that inspired you to start PAQ and really use it as a beacon, beacon of empowerment for those survivors of abuse? Yeah, um, so the the moment, the pivotal moment where I decided to kind of take my own experience and turn it into something like empowering, right? And um, just because of like all, my own personal struggles and I've seen like women in my family go through the same um, was during the pandemic. I think a lot of people during the pandemic was like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm tired of working for somebody else and being like, let go. And then, and so that's what happened to me. I was working and I was like, I was let go. I was rehired. I was let go. And I was like, okay. And I've always had an entrepreneur spirit. Um, so during that time I signed up for a business course. And then that's when I was like, all right, what is it that I'm like something that I'm like really passionate about. And I can like talk for days. Um, and that's how powerful authentic queen came about. And it's just like, well, why not use this, you know, and, and turn it into something positive and help women that have gone through those same experiences, reclaim their power after trauma, know that you are worthy of just better, healthy, like relationships all around, not even just like romantic relationships, right? Like whether there's family friendships, um, and knowing that you're worthy of the career that you want, like whatever it is that you want, like, just know that you are worthy of that. Mm, beautiful. And I love that. I love that you asked the question, what am I passionate about? And I could talk about four days, like, because that is so important because we're here, we're talking about it, right. And it's, it is the thing that you've got to have that passion behind and that real like defined moment too. So I love that. So let's shift to the I move method. And the first part of that is I, which is intuition. So how do you utilize your intuition to really shape the vision for uh, PAQ and ensuring that it may re remains its, it maintains and remains authentic to your audience that you're helping? So I use it um, one from like personal experience. I think that that helps me um, in just my field alone and it helps me connect on a deeper level to the woman that I'm working with because they're like oh although our experiences are all completely different right because I've been in this work now for um several years and I also work at a domestic violence shelter and it's like our experiences are different but like what we feel and, and those feelings of maybe like sadness frustration anger unworthiness like are all similar um 
so that keeps me kind of like grounded and and reminded of like okay um staying kind of staying focused and then also working with women at domestic violence cell uh, domestic violence shelters, sexual assault centers. Um, I do a lot of work in those uh, spaces, and that's just a constant, you know, reminder of okay, th this is what is needed. And then it's just again reassurance, like just because I thought it, I was like sometimes, you know, when you you go through experiences like that, you might think that like you're the only one that feels that way. But then when you surround yourself with other people that have gone through those experiences you realize like, okay, I'm not the only one that feels or thinks that way. And again, our experiences are all completely different, but it's like the feelings and the thoughts and stuff that we have are very similar. So that always just keeps me like focused and like also empowered Um, because there's times as you could probably um relate to in just being an entrepreneur, you're like, am I doing the right work? Is this working? Like, you know, and it's just like, they're a constant reminder that like, I am doing the right work. It is needed. And it's just like staying focused and moving forward. Oh, beautiful. So what about marketing? Because this is, this is an area where I think people definitely need the support, the resources, the community that you're providing, but what marketing strategies have you found that really can connect with that audience and help them move into those spaces? So for marketing, a lot of it, um, I mean, online, right? Just being, uh, and even that was scary because I'm like, oh, am I really going to use my story to kind of like be able to connect and relate to these women um, and, and be that voice um, for those that might, you know, stay silent? Um, but being, you know, like in on online and social media platforms um, helps with marketing and also just um, a lot of, just going into people's dms and connecting like you know one-on-one -on -one and going to these organizations and being like hey i am the founder powerful authentic queen this is what i am about and this is what my organization is about um and just really you know going to networking events like all those things um and that has i think that has been the most um pivotal in my business like those connections those like one-on-one -on -one and like just not being afraid to be like hey this is who I am how can we partner up and and you know collaborate together oh beautiful so what I'm hearing out of that is showing up authentically building massive awareness and connections and collaborations yes especially connections and, lab and uh, collaborations <laughs> <laughs> so good all right, so let's talk about operational support, the O in our I Move method. What are some of the key operational practices or structures that you put in place to really support the survivors that you work with? Oh, this one has been a little tough for me just because like I want to do it all alone. Um, and I feel like sometimes as an entrepreneur, you, you feel like you have to. Yeah. Um, but for operational, it just has been like putting system in places and hiring help, you know, realizing that like I don't have to do it alone um, and just hiring people to do things that um, might be better at at something that I am. Right. Because um, I'm, I'm really good at what I mentioned before, like the one on one and going to networking events and stuff. And so more of the behind the scenes and administrative and you know like ha handling the behind the scenes operations so definitely like reaching out and like hiring um for help and having that support system in business has been really like pivotal because at first I was trying to do it all on my own and I felt like I was kind of um hindering myself a little bit because it's just like you're burning yourself out you can't do it all on your own <laughs> especially if you want to grow and scale and spending your time doing things that you don't like doing is the fastest way to burn out, right? So yes. delegation hiring, so good. So let's move to our V, which is velocity, which is essentially like growth strategies. So what strategies or tactics have you found to be most effective in maintaining the momentum of your business and helping it grow? So with B, um, I love this question because I was I I was really thinking about it and I'm like because of the work that I do it is a very um sensitive topic right so nice. it's not it hasn't been something that has been like I've exploded from day to night it has been consistent work um and it's just again going back to hiring um the help and also hiring people that are passionate about the work that I do because 
it's not easy. It could be very emotionally draining. Um, and again, it's just not an easy topic to talk about. Or even like when you have, let's say I hire somebody on for like marketing, it's like you're promoting the business and we are talking about sexual abuse and domestic violence. Again, and that's just a very touchy subject. Not everybody wants to talk about it. And even me with my experience, sometimes when I say it, like I could see people's body language automatically change. They're like, oh, like, um, and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> You're good. We were talking about those strategies that add velocity to the business. Yes. So for me, it has been like a consistent, um, slow, steady growth. It hasn't been something that, um, but it, it's been that. It's just been reminding myself that the work that I'm doing is very specific. Um, it's not something that everybody wants to talk about. Um, it's something that people are scared to talk about. So there's... I want to say there's few people that, you know, are willing to just have those uncomfortable conversations because they are uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, but it's just, you know, remaining consistent, um, being passionate about it. Um, and, and passion is what keeps me going on the days that like may be hard on the days that I might see like my business that may not be having the growth that I wanted to right at the moment. Um, so those are the things that keep me going and, and keep me thinking, okay, we we're having some momentum and I'm, it might not be the velocity that like I wanted to, but we're still moving forward. Yeah. And I think that's such a great mindset. Like, even if there's nothing that's boosting things right now, the mindset of, look, we have that consistency, we're moving forward. That's a velocity builder in its own right, because mindset yeah. is a huge part of this. So it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So let's talk the E of iMove, our rounding it out final, which is execution. So what major initiative or project are you focusing on? Are you executing in the near future for PAQ? Oh, I'm like, this is, I'm like, what do I share? Um, there's several projects just because I always want to do so much. Um, and I'm like, okay, so focus on one thing and then go on to the next. Um, so I'll, I'll mention too, um, I have... I used, I had the mentorship, but I, you know, right now I put it on pause just because I'm reinventing just so I can better serve the woman that I work with. So we have that. I'm working on um, a book, my book. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and those, I'll share those. Those are the two things that like I'm working on. So definitely relaunching the mentorship um, course program. And then also working on a book that hopefully by the end of this year, I will be able to, you know, public, be, put it out to the world and people can purchase it. Ah, that's super exciting. So for our listeners that are in our audience that are like, well, I want to learn more about this and maybe follow you. So when your book does come out or you do relaunch your coaching, uh, where can they learn more about you? Yeah, so PowerfulAuthenticQueen.com um, and feel free to search for me and follow me on all social media platforms as powerfulauthenticqueen.com but the best place is um power, powerfulauthenticqueen.com and then I have all the social media handles there like anything everything you need to be able to like follow connect um it's all on there on the website excellent well Priscilla thank you so much for joining us today and for those of you watching and in the audience, thank you for joining us as well. I hope that you got as much value out of this highlight as I did. Priscilla, again, thank you so much for being so candid, for being so real, for pulling back the curtain on your business and on a topic that is so needed to be discussed and to have a light shined on it. So thank you so much. And those of you watching, be sure to stay tuned. We will have more Get Good at Business highlights and spotlights for you in the future. But in the meantime, remember that you can get good at business.